Hey, Sneaky News Matter today. Tonight we're going back in time, a retro style, with Nopix at 5.1. Now it's about four or five years old now, so it's getting on a bit. I'm just doing this just to show you how different it was from the latest Nopix, which I'd done the other day. And why I was a bit disappointed. Now this comes up the first time you boot the live CD. This is the live CD, by the way. And you go, Nopix 5.1, it's in several languages as well. Why Nopix? You need at least 82 meg of RAM. <laughs> Those are the days. Runs KDE 3 or 3.5, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. So it's pretty super fast, super duper. Let's have a look. So you've got your Nopix programs and configurations, your Windows lists, desktop access, home and personal photos, console, web browser, which is Conqueror, and Ice Weasel, and you get OpenOffice 2.1. So, now this is what I mean, look, look at all this stuff you've got on the CD, I've also got the DVD version somewhere, and it's ginormous, loads and loads of applications, early version of Wine there as well, games, thousands of games, still on the CD you see, this is what I don't get about the latest one, there's nothing on it, whereas here, we've got loads of stuff, look at it, loads and loads, you could just, wouldn't have to install it at all, just keep playing different games or whatever. You get Gimpy a standard on here as well, Scribus as well, Exane is here as well, Microclose is a fax viewer, icon editor, There's for the internet we've got Elix and Game, Games for Internet Messaging by the way, I stuff Mail Client, remember you can use it as a, uh, with a, a f save file sort of thing, you know what I mean, so that'd be alright. Kmail as well for mouse, you've got several more. links as well, blimey back in time, still use it now sometimes on some versions of some distros. This is... I can't remember anymore. That's four, but I think it's from remote access, but I can't remember exactly. Okay, what else have we got in this menu? This gigantic menu, by the way. Right, under under Nopix, what have we got? Configure your TV card, your printer, your disk image, your swap file. So if I click on there, I can configure a swap file. Now, I've already done that with Gparted, so I don't actually really need to do this, do I? But if, in theory, if you haven't done it, you can do that. Super duper. Next, where should we go? Let's have a look. Now, we've done internet already... Right, we've done that bit there, didn't we? Look, now under network, you can configure all your modems, your ADSL modems, your dial-up modems, your GPS stuff. You can monitor your traffic, do your firewall, lots of desktop stuff, root shells, all of them, do your sound. Audacity actually comes as standard on the live CD, you know what I mean? All this stuff on the same size CD as I wanted done the other day. This is why I had a little bit of a moan about it, because it didn't have anything whatsoever. Yes, I know it's an early version of Audacity, but it's like nearly four or five years old, so what do you expect? But I just thought we'd go down memory lane, as you do, and have a little look. Now, in video you don't have to get too much, but in viewers you get quite a few. As I to see, do it. K3B's here as well, caffeine for music player. There's a couple of TV stuff here, open office, look, so I'll go down, I'll open, open office right 2.1. It's bouncing around and it's bouncing, floating. Bounce, 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 bounce. And it's open office 2.1, as I said before, by Sun, oh, old name. Now, I'm not going to go through all this, because you know what it looks like. I'm just saying all what it comes with on this disc. You can actually still download this, by the way. It is still up there in the cloud somewhere. So if you want a bit of a fun, go and download it. It's a bit of a laugh, you know what I mean? So anyway, we've scrolled in down here system again. <clears throat> K, 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 all the K stuff. Q parties here. Some Sun Java stuff. I mean, I've run out of breath. Come on, really? There's mobile phone tools. There's screen editors. There's, what more can I say? You can see it on the screen in front of you. There's loads of applications on this CD. So, tell me people from Gnopix, or Nopix, why couldn't you do that with the latest one? There we are, we're in KD 3.5.5, is the KD Control Centre, quite nice. A lot of people do like KD 3.5, by the way, I used to. You knew where it was going and it didn't break too much, if you know what I mean. It comes with plenty of backgrounds as standard on the disc, and you can actually go and get more and download them if you so wish to do so, which I don't really want to do so at the moment. But they're all there for you to do if you want to. Here's the KD 3.5 default, we'll have that. So we'll apply it, and that will do when we come out of that. And there we are, a nice little KDE 3.5 desktop background. Really nice, I like it anyway. So, we're back to the control centre. <clears throat> we'll go down. You know what it looks like if you've used KDE 3.5 before, but I'm just showing you what... I keep saying it, all that came on this disc. You don't get bugger all in the other one, really, do you? It's sweet nothing, or sweet nothings in my ear hole, or whatever. So, yeah. So, anybody that want to tell me the reason why, or if there's somebody who can get hold of them and say, why is it like so, I'd really love to know, because this seems to me more usable. 
it can still get you out of a pickle even though it's this old you know what i mean you can still use it to recover your system if you have to because all the best shells are there yes i know in firefox 3.6 but i don't care at the moment so anyway yeah that's a bit of me moaning out of the way <clears throat> i'm gonna type in the bubba cur out there and we're gonna go to where should we go go to the bbc iplayer i'm just gonna see if flash is pre-installed now I know damn well it ain't, but we'll just have a laugh. And this is, for those of you who've only been using Linux for a while, this is how difficult it used to be and getting the stuff to work sometimes. See what I mean? No flash player. You have to go and get that. Sometimes when you were repo, sometimes it wasn't. Ah, back in the day. So anyway, yes, this is a nice little look at something from a few years ago when some of you were still in school and stuff like that. Sneaky Linux is going to go put the cat on, have a cup of tea. See you later. Sneaky Linux out. Ta.